It is a great honor for me uh, to be asked uh, to uh, address your commencement. Uh, I have uh, given over my uh, years as a professor, I have given maybe 40 commencement addresses, but uh, this one is much closer to my heart because those were at American colleges and China did not enter into those at all. But now I am, I feel at home because as you may have been told, uh, I was born in China and grew up there. And uh, I drive a hybrid car, but I'm a hybrid myself <laughs> because my uh, genes are Western, but my upbringing was Chinese uh, uh, in China. And I am infinitely grateful uh, for uh, having uh, the both sides of our planet uh, inside mm. me. I have been uh, a teacher in my entire career. Uh, and for 50 years uh, in the university, I have taught students to the best of my ability, and I, I uh, think I did a good job. However, uh, coming to know about your university uh, makes me wish that I could uh, go back uh, 50 years and begin my teaching all over again because I realize now uh, that I did, uh, I taught only uh, half of the curriculum, the intellectual uh, part, but I said nothing about practice. And I have been instructed that here uh, that is a very important part of the curriculum. And that moves me profoundly uh, because uh, practice, if uh, knowledge is not uh, supported, followed by practice, why then uh, we've, uh, we've made progress in the mind, but we've been spinning our wheels in terms of practice. So again, I commend you for being at a university which lays great stress on both sides, uh, the mind and, so to speak, the heart mm -hmm. through practice. Thank you again for the opportunity of having a part in this glorious day.